What is going on, my epoxy family? Um, today, I'm going to show you how to fill cracks and, cracks and inclusions super, super fast. You don't have to wait for epoxy. This is like a 24-hour wait, 6-hour wait. We're going to be back to work in seconds or minutes, okay? Let's go. All right, we're going to talk about the importance of Starbond. Um, not even Starbond. We're going to talk about the importance of CA glue. CA glue is something that I use in all of my tables almost probably maybe five percent i don't but majority of them i'm using some kind of ca glue um the ca glue that i use is called starbond um after using so many i have found that that works best for me um i do use an off-brand activator Let, let's just get into the video i'll show you how i do this and why okay so stick around and if you got any questions drop them down below here i have once I flattened my piece out, I noticed that there were some inclusions in here and there was a knot. Well, you see the epoxy head went on some of it, like some of it has it, but this was under. So I could take the time and fill it with epoxy and then wait another 24 hours or 30 hours and, or you could do a quick coat and wait 12 hours, but I don't have 12 hours. I don't work like that. If I can work now, I want to work now. CA glue. All right, so I haven't seen a lot of people do it. I don't even think I've seen anybody do it, but I do it. Um, I color it. So it's gonna have an epoxy finish over the top, so I don't care how it holds up inside just because it's going to be all held together by the outside. Uh, let me show you what I do. So there are different kinds of CA glue. Let me show you. Okay, so there is thin, medium, medium thick and thick. Um, there's like a brown color, a black color, and then clear. I, I recommend Starbond. Uh, this is what I have used and used, but I use an off-brand accelerator. This one goes the best out of all the other accelerators. Starbond works the best with Starbond, but this is cheaper, so I use it. Um, why not? <laughs> I am an affiliate with Starbond. This video is not for that, but if you want to get 10% off your order, here's the coupon code right here. Okay, so I'm going to be using the clear, and I'm going to put color in first. Let me show you what I do and how I do it and how fast you can get back to work. All right, so my process of this is this. I put some color in. Okay, so these right here are shish kebab sticks. I'm going to put everything that I use in the description below, so if you... That's a way to support my channel. Um, I am also an affiliate with Amazon. So if I say links in the description, it doesn't cost you extra, but I do get like 3% of whatever you buy from the link. Um, all right, so I just put some color in here and I do it with these little sticks. They're inexpensive and they just get in the cracks and the crevices. I'm sorry, I live on a busy intersection. And um, and then I just like wipe away the excess off the top. Okay, so I'm gonna take my CA glue. And there are tips that go with this so that way you can get in there in them small spaces. I don't really care about that right now. I use medium so that way it's thin enough to still go down. All right, so you don't want to do a lot at once. So you fill a little bit. I'm just putting a little bit in here. The first layer. And then I will take my accelerator and spray. And now that is dry. Like, that's dry. You can sand this now. You don't have to wait for the freaking epoxy, okay? okay? So that is it, that is all. All right, I'm trying to get this color in there. 
All right, so we're gonna do our second layer. And the reason that you don't wanna do a bunch at a time is because the accelerator won't hit what's underneath and then it won't cure. Like, it'll just stay liquid under there and you'll have a big ass mess. And we don't want that. All right, so. There's that. So I'm gonna open up this inclusion and this is gonna give me the opportunity to add some color in here. And I think adding color just um, brings another focal point to the piece, just adds a little bit of fun. So we're going to add our color in here. Not a lot, okay? We don't want to clog the crack. We want to fill it but we're just putting some accents of color in here, okay? And you're gonna see, this is another way that I do this. Um, this is a crack, and I do these a little bit different. So, I'm going to make sure the color's in the bottom, and then I'm gonna run my first layer through, and honestly, this might be enough for some like for most of the crack, but while it's wet, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm going to like kind of feather it in. It's probably the wrong word, but I know what I mean. Never had to explain this, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> I hope this makes sense to you and I hope this helps. If you're getting anything out of this video, um, Smash the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to try to uh, release a video like every other day. I have so much content that I have to come out. Like, not that I have to, I just have so much freaking content that I've recorded over the time and I've just not let it out. Like, I just have it and I'm not doing anything with it and I made it for you guys. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it come out. All right, so let me show you. Let's see. You can see. What the hell's going on here? Come on, sucker. All right. Oh, and by the way, I just got this. Holy shit, this is a nice sander. I had the, um, like I said, I go cheap. <laughs> Not cheap, it wasn't cheap. The other sander that I had uh, was a about like 400 it was the Bosch GET Bosch GET 5N it was the 5 inch turbo sander and it was a good damn sander but this beast right here oh, oh, oh. what's that on home improvement Tim the tool man Taylor that oh, oh. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, let me show you how easy this is, okay? I'm going to zoom in just so you can see. There's no time lapse. There's no nothing. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go over it a couple times, and I'm going to show you the results of both of these, okay? Okay, so honestly, the epoxy finish would take care of these little holes. But I'm uh, OCD a little bit, so I'm going to do it myself. So this is a microscoping tip. I don't know what the real name for it is, but it microscopes it. So that's what I'm calling it. And it's super easy. Super quick. And I'm done. The other one turned out perfectly. And as you can see, that is what it will look like. There. So I'll show you this one as well. You see? Gorgeous. It even turned out prettier than the other crap. All right, you guys, so I hope you got something out of that video. That's just a really quick fix. I realized that this is something that I use on just about every project. 
why not share it? Um, I remember when I was first getting into making river tables, I was lost. Like everything there is to know and all the shortcuts and all of that, it's learned. And I'm here to teach you guys and share all of my wisdom and my lessons and all of that stuff with you. All right, you guys, so if you haven't already, smash that like button, press subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. If there's anything that you need help with, drop a comment down below, ask, I got you.